Okay, so let's look at building up our very first ambience preset using Chrono Studio Pro. So um, if you're familiar with Chrono Studio, you'll know that we already have a, a really large ambiences category, as you can see here from uh, the perform mode. Um, there are loads and loads of presets here for ambiences for very specific scenarios. We also now have added the AI ambience generator, which is also a really powerful way to just describe an ambience, enter a prompt, uh, and then quickly have Chrono Studio build you a preset. Um, however, if you've got something very specific in mind that you want to build with assets from your library, this is also a really powerful way to work in Chrono Studio. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump to the edit mode and build this out ourselves. Now, we could do this in a number of different ways. There are templates here to clear out the whole edit mode and build it from scratch. There's also a template for um, ambience presets, which we're gonna use right away. So um, I'm gonna go to load factory preset. I'm gonna go to preset templates. Uh, I'm gonna select the ambience template. Okay, so this is going to clear out the assets and the engines that we had in the previous preset that we loaded there. Um, but it's going to keep all the uh, the assignments here in the uh, assign section. So as you can see, we've got a load of parameters that are already pre-assigned. Um, this is going to help us just drag and drop new samples uh, into the core engines and they should automatically be connected uh, to the perform section and to the assign section so we'll get a result really quickly. All right, so let's um, let's take a look. So I'm gonna jump over to Finder and I'm gonna look in my ambiences section. I'm just using the Crotos Starter library here, um, but of course you can use any assets that you've got lying around, anything from your own library, anything that's in your um, sample library management software. Um, you'll just need to pick this up, drag and drop it over. All right, so let's get started. So I've got a little loop here of um, uh, cicadas um, recorded from a Los Angeles uh, motel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build up a, an LA sort of motel style preset here. So um, I've dragged that into layer one, uh, core engine one, which is already set to a, uh, be a granular engine. Let's just bring this up a little bit. Um, and all I should need to do to start hearing this layer now is just to press start. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit. So you can see from the XY pad, I can already hear this, I can control it, I can turn it up and down. Okay, great, I'm just going to turn that up just a little bit. Okay, great, I think that's a really good starting point. These recordings are actually a little quiet, so I'm going to do something a little naughty and I'm going to normalise them and then hit start again. Okay, so that's obviously a lot louder. We're going to need to compensate with some of these gain stages, but just to hear um, what's actually going on here. All right, cool. So that's the first layer that I quite like. So I'm going to left click on layer one here on the tab and just rename this one. This is going to be really, really handy as I'm building out the preset. If I come back at future date, just to really quickly figure out what's going on. So obviously this axis of this XY pad is controlling the volume of this engine as it's turning up and down. That was pre-configured when we loaded the template. Um, this is still called layer one. So I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna type cicadas again. So you'll see that this section in the assign area, which is associated with this axis, has also been automatically renamed to the same thing, which is gonna be really handy. So now we've got cicadas in the tab, cicadas in the XY and cicadas in the uh, assign area. So this is gonna allow me to really quickly uh, figure out where the cicadas parameters and sounds are all hook, hooked up together. Okay, so let's press stop. Let's move to the next tab, which is called layer two to start with. Right, so let's go back and let's find another layer. Um, I'm gonna start with this um, corridor room tone. So I'm gonna drag that in. I see this one is also pretty quiet. So it's okay, let's just normalize it. Let's keep an eye on the levels. I'm gonna move the X, Y over to I just hear layer two. Okay, so that's just room tone, just a nice air track. Let's bring the XY here to bring in the cicadas as well. Okay, cool. So now we've got the ability to blend between these two layers as they're generating. And these will generate randomly without repeating for as long as we like. Uh, cool. So let's just turn this up a little bit. Now I can balance those two layers as they generate. Great. So I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to do exactly what I did with the first tab. So I'm just going to rename this tab. I'll call it Runtone. And then 
the layer 2 and the XY. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Call it room tone. Cool. All right. So at a glance now, I'll really easily be able to understand what's going on. Let's keep going. Let's move off to layer 3. So next, I've got a uh, nice long recording of an air conditioner. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to normalize that again because I believe that's pretty quiet. So I'm going to take the uh, X, Y here down to the bottom left hand corner. This means that I shouldn't hear these two layers at all. So let's kick this one off over here. Okay. Nice air conditioner. Okay, sounds good. Let's do the same again. Let's name that tab and the layer on the XY. Let's bring in the other layers for reference. Okay, that's feeling like a, an actual environment now. Let's do the last layer. I'm going to use this nice long recording it's got all sorts of different things it's got traffic it's got dogs barking it's got all sorts so i'll do the same thing again just to make sure i've got plenty of headroom here let's just hear that layer in isolation now as it generates okay i like this one so i'm just going to call this urban traffic Got some traffic going by there. We've got some other layers, but we get the idea. Great, okay. Now let's balance in the other layers. The nice thing about the way the Chrono Studio works, it's going to pick these sections of this longer recording, so it'll give you something that's much more organic, much more evolving, so rather than just repeating a loop, it's going to feel like a real environment that's ever-changing. Okay, great. So I'm just going to stop that. And now we've made our first ambience preset. So the great thing about this, obviously, is that I can jump back into the perform mode. Um, if I need to do something really quickly, I can call up this preset um, for next time I need it on a project, maybe later in the project. Um, I can also use the preset export here to share this with uh, my colleagues on the project, uh, if they would also benefit from this. Um, teams can really use Crota Studio Pro in a really powerful way to build up presets, resources that you can use and access our time and time again during a project. We'll build up a library of these things so you know next time you come across this type of scenario um, you might be able to pull this out again, get a completely different take on it using the XYs and um, use this all over again. So there's loads of ways of using this in a really powerful way. So obviously um, as we've been uh, using Crota Studio it's been recording so I can drag out a stereo WAV of the recording that we just made so that can be really handy. Um, remember as well that we can use the multi-channel output to uh, create stems from these. So if I create four stereo audio tracks, what I'm going to do now, just really quickly, is I'm going to connect these to the outputs of tabs one, two, three, four from Credo Studio. So not only have we then built this preset up from scratch, is now we're setting it up um, so that we can then capture the output of each one of these layers as it's generating. So if I take this back and I hit record and I start the generation from the plugin. We're now printing these stems as they're generating. So once you've found a balance that you like, you could just let this run for as long as you want. This could be synced to the exact duration of your scene. Um, and there you go. If you get a crash for the mix to turn down the cicadas, turn down the aircon, make the traffic a bit louder. You're still using what you did in this preset to do that, um, but then you've got the stems right here on the timeline. Okay, great. So thanks for sticking with me through that. Thanks for watching. I hope that's been a really good um, insight into how to build your own Proto Studio Ambience presets and have this really powerful workflow at your fingertips using your own assets.